Hey, this is William from Bear Bull Traders, and I've been thinking about why I make these recaps. And you know, I've learned so much from different resources, from different traders, from books, from videos, and honestly, I love to give back as well. And when I share these recaps, they are not anything but an education source for myself and anyone else who wants to view them. By making these, it forces me to go deep into my own trading and understand exactly what's happening so I can execute these setups. And when I share them, I want to share all the little nuances. I want a trader to see this and be like, I know exactly what that what that trade setup was. I know how to mimic it. I'm not missing anything. I know how to do this type of trade and to become an independent trader. If you like the setup, if you don't like the setup, no problem. But if you do, I want you to understand exactly how to take it on your own. So let's get into this. First things first, we start from the big picture. We want to find a stock that's in play. And today the SPY gap down and AMRN gapped up. It opened at about $18.10. See, it opened right about here. I don't want to share, show it on the daily candle yet because it'll give it away. Um, but we have a stock that gapped up and the fundamental news was strong. It was FDA. It was good news from the FDA for this company. So it gapped up and it had decent pre-market volume. Again, that makes it independent. This is the type of stock I want to look at. Then when I scroll over and start to look at the, the smaller time frames, the 60 and the 15, I see that, all right, all the moving averages are acting as support. They are acting as support and there is nothing in my way in terms of resistance. I go into the bigger or the short, the smaller time frames as well. And it's the same thing. The price action is above all of these moving averages. And these moving averages are stacked, stacked from smallest to biggest, 9, 20, 50, 200, 9, 20, 50, 200 is down here, 9, 20, 50, 200. So it is stacking. Look at the 60, 9, 20, 50, 200. There's no crosses. There's nothing to indicate anything except all these moving averages are support. What does that mean? It means if I decide to go long on a specific setup, I don't have overhead resistance. Like, look at this. You see this 50 moving average? Imagine these traders right here on this daily chart who longed into this. There was just sellers waiting to sell and to short at this 50. You better believe that is exactly what happened there. And it dumped, right? It couldn't break the 50. And once it can't break the 50, it dumped right there. All right. So this is my harmonious chart. So number one, there is no resistance in my way and I have a gap up and it's independent of the spy. So all those things tell me that there are tons of eyeballs, human eyeballs on this and that the setup is the a potential setup can very well be validated by everyone else seeing the same thing. So now I want you to look at this. What do you see? Because I made a trade in the next minute on all of these candles, on in the next candles. Look at this one. You see the one minute, the two minute, the five minute, the 15 minute. How do you read this? All right, let's start slowly. The 60 minute, it's definitely a big uptrend with a nice pull right there in the pre-market. Got a little wedge going on with no new high, no new low. 15 minute though, nice trend going up very bullish on the opening 15 minute candle nice volume on the five minute we have a big pull a slight pullback and then it's holding this on the two minute it's above vwap right here and it's nice and strong going back to vwap it held once it could hold again same thing on the one minute nice bullishness in the beginning waves back down waves up find support so you know what I see here? I see a picture perfect A, B, C, D pattern. As long as this two minute breaks after this hammer holding VWAP, 15 minute highs, above VWAP on the one as well with all this moving average support and no overhead resistance, that is the type of trade I want to take. Okay. So right there, as soon as it looked like it was about to break, I go long, all right? Now we're going to look at the one minute just so you can see. But I was looking at the two and the five minute. Okay, I get long right there and look at that. I am instantly up. Look at, 
You see that? I get in right before the volume increase because I see what's about to happen. A, B, C, D on the two with no overhead resistance and ton of support. Traders are going to jump into that. And sure enough, they did. All right. It was a picture perfect A, B, C, D setup. So I want to share with you exactly how I traded this. So you see, I enter in at 1846. And right here, right above this, this is my hard stop that I put in the market. I put it in at 1839 right here. I'm willing to get stopped out. That's a seven cent risk. And that is underneath this area of consolidation. And I'm figuring if it actually holds true with this ABCD pattern and it breaks up, it is a one way door, meaning it is not going to look back. Plus, that's a decent technical level as it already held a view app twice. So it looks like it's getting the momentum to hold for the bounce. All right. So let's look at this right there. Let's look at the one I get in right as the volume slowly starts to increase. I'm seeing this two minute mini hammer is about to break and I get in right, right as the volume starts to happen right before, right? A few seconds to 30 seconds before. And look what I got. I hit all this. Watch this one minute. I got in right before the volume. And I'm not trying to predict the volume coming in, but I saw this ABCD pattern. I saw it was about to break. And I know that when it breaks, the volume floods in because everyone around here, everyone around the world who trades, they want to jump in for these type of picture perfect patterns. Um, so I try to get them right as the volume's coming in, right when I see the very first sign of it. All right. So again, we have our A, B, C is support at VWAP, D for the break, and my entry. Remember, I'm risking $0.07 cents here. 1846 stop is 1839 risking $0.07. So I get my first partial at 1869 which is about a 3 to 1 risk reward. And then I just start to partial up along the way. Let's look at the 2 minute. I am just look. All right. You see this little wave, wave up consolidation, people taking profit, decreasing volume, no worries there, holding the moving average, go back up. So I get out again, right at this two minute here. And I'm just partially out at about, it's about an increase in a little over one R each time. So I'm making my risk four to one, my reward, I mean, my reward to risk four to one, five to one, six to one, each time I'm increasing it on each of these partials. So let's zoom out. So you can see, I just keep partially out. And then notice this flat top right here. I got out heavy because this was even dollar 19. So I was getting out. I got out a second time right here after I saw this big dump, but it didn't spook me out. I still was holding shares. And then sure enough, right here as it pops through, it's just another leg up of a, from a flat top break right there. So I start, I continue to scale out, out. I didn't quite get the top, but I am very, very happy with that. Um, so again, these are the type of trades I want to take a hundred times in a row. Everything is going in my favor. I've got so many indicators and in confirmation. I know other traders are going to want to see it. I see that the volume poured in after I got in. I mean, the, yeah, the volume poured in after I got in, which means I am in the right side. This is the time to hold this for a long, a long time and a big mover. And that's what I did. And that's what I want to share with you. So if you have any questions or, or misunderstood anything or, or want to know any details I missed, please ask below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. Thank you so much.